Hey, what's up everyone? Jeremy here, and this is a tutorial on how to use Notepad++. Now, if you don't know what it is, it's basically just a code editor for Windows, and it can handle any language that you can think of, pretty much, from HTML, CSS, PHP, Java, C, C++, C Sharp, uh, the list goes on and on and on. There are dozens upon dozens of languages that it can handle. Now, why this is so beneficial when you are a developer or a programmer is because of how secure Notepad++ is, it's very well updated and everything, it's just a, a program to use, and um, I, I would recommend it. If This is what I would recommend if you're on Windows, however, if you are using Mac, I would not recommend this. Um, and there, there's a better alternative for Mac users. To get Notepad onto your system, download Notepad++. All we really need to do is just go to Google and search Notepad++. And you will... Oh, still found it. And I already went here, but yeah, just click download. And if you want to download the zip, you can, but... I'd recommend just clicking the installer right here and that'll pop it up right down here for you. Just click this and um, once it downloads it'll open just follow the instructions and you're good to go. I already have it so I don't need it right now. So anyways after you install it and it, it's all up to date and everything it's gonna look something like this and you're good to go you can go ahead right now and start coding a couple things you want to keep in mind any file that you are making in any kind of an editor you need to save the file as that document you can do this beforehand before you even start and um, we would just go to file and save as and we can save this as whatever we want but you need to save it as the document that um, the file extension that it would be rendering as and that would be there's many 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 different ones but let's just for an example use HTML which is hypertext markup language and this is the basis for the internet and how web pages are designed HTML not getting too much into that, I talk about that in a previous um, in a previous tutorial. However, when we start, let's just put some little bit of code here, and I can show you exactly how this would work in a real life application. Um, and I'll just put the minimal amount of code just to run this. Alrighty, so let's um let's just say how do you you guys I'm Jeremy and this will run just like it is. It's just gonna be very bland, but um luckily with this and with most of these uh source code editors you're able to run these directly from the source code and uh, nobody else can see this but it's just for you let's choose chrome and there we go so that's what we designed in there and you can really if you want it to be a little bit prettier let's just make you can put a whole web page in here really and um, you know have it look however you want but Let's put this in some kind of a. Let's just add a background color to this really quick. Okay, so. Um, let's, let's do orange. That's. Then all we have to do is just run this, and um, 
There we go. So now we have an orange background across the top of the page. If I wanted to upload this, for instance, it would be very easy, and all I would need to do is um, pretty much just make sure I save this file. It's already saved as test2, so we can just all we would need to do is put this in our public HTML folder on our website, and then our website would render this, or maybe more accurately, or something more realistic would be welcome to our site, but that's just an example on how you can use this and actually make a website just from this. Now it's good to keep in mind that certain coding languages, like PHP, need a local server to test on so you don't have to test on your uh, live server that you're using. So um, you, you don't have to have a local server, it's just extremely advisable and you can mess up your website if you're just testing on online. Anyways, a good program that I would recommend using in adjacent to this program would be, let's go ahead and get to Google. Alrighty. Now it would be X, it's called XAMP, and if you just look through, look, you search on Google, it's going to pop up and um, use whatever operating system is appropriate. It's available for all three. Linux, OS X, and Windows, and just click it, download it correctly, and um, there's a, a very little bit that you're going to need to set up with it, but it's extremely easy, and you, you know, I might just do a side tutorial on it, because it, it is a bit of information, but um, yeah, this is what I would recommend, and it's free, best of all, so. Alrighty, so with Notepad++ and XAMP, you are going to be completely set up to start coding and testing your own website and do all that stuff and different changes that you might want to do locally, which that's, that's a very important thing and uh, it's web development 101. But um, yeah, so anyways, this is Notepad++ and how you can use it and all the different cool things about it and you know just to actually I want to show you one more thing this is just an example of uh, all the different languages not including the ones that you can use in extensions but um it's it's just it's just in, it's insane you know so at that thank you very much everybody for watching and um, please subscribe, leave a comment below if you wanted, if you have any questions or if you wanted to simply shout out and say something. And take care everybody.